today we've been training our pilots in natural surface landings. We've been doing that on the beach in South Wales. So that's been training for us. At the same time, we've been working with 16 Air Assault Brigade, who've been training rapid air land. And that's when they have vehicles and troops who come off the back of a, an aircraft. And at the same time, our tactical air traffic controllers have been training in terms of controlling aircraft at the beach as well. The reason why air mobility exists is to go places that other aircraft can't. And there won't always be a runway that we can land on. Sometimes it might be an old runway that hasn't been maintained for many years. Sometimes it might be a large field. Sometimes it might be a beach. So the reason why we land on a beach today is because if you can land on a beach, you can land on grass, you can land on a semi-prepared runway, you can land on an old runway. This aircraft can carry twice as much, 50% further and 25% faster. Its short field landing performance as we saw today is comparable to the C-130. And then on small airstrips, it can get in two or three times as much. What would you say to people who say that the A400 is, isn't up to replacing the Hercules? So when the decision was made to retire the Hercules in 2023, there was a list of capabilities that this aircraft was looking to progress. And what we've done is we prioritized. So we have progressed the capabilities that we've used most recently in operations. So we have got low level airdrop onto this aircraft by day. We've got night coming this month. We've got high altitude parachuting on this aircraft as well. And low level parachuting is months away. In terms of the other niche capabilities, they will come in the next couple of years. So I've flown the Hercules for four tours. It's a fantastic aircraft and it's a shame that we're seeing it go. Um, the Hercules has been, I guess, uh, the workforce or the workhorse of the Air Force for a number of years. Uh, and it has delivered on operations, you know, throughout uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, in North Africa. But this aircraft here, the A400, you know, it's a step forward in terms of uh, technology. I'm very fortunate to be able to fly both of them right now. I've flown the Hercules and the A400 uh, in the last month. And uh, this aircraft is like the, the new car that you've, you've just bought with all, uh, with all the extra Gucci bits. And essentially, this aircraft is uh, more, you know, more than capable of uh, replacing the C-130. And I believe it will be you know, the tactical airlifter of choice once we've got all the capabilities onto it.